Why do some people achieve financial freedom while others remain trapped in a cycle of struggle? Have you ever wondered why your hard work hasn't translated into success? If you're feeling stuck, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into the reasons behind this and, more importantly, how you can change it. Let's be honest, how many times have you been told that hard work is the key to success? But if that were really true, why do so many people who work tirelessly still find themselves financially stuck? In this video, I'm going to uncover the truth about why working harder isn't always the answer. You'll discover how to sidestep common financial mistakes, transform your mindset, and build a scalable business from scratch. This is not just another motivational talk. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to financial freedom. We're going to explore real-world examples, practical strategies, and shifts in mindset that can completely turn your financial situation around. So stay tuned, because what you learn today could change your future. The biggest mistakes when trying to build wealth and how to avoid them. Error number one, working hard instead of smart. Let's talk about the first major mistake, working hard instead of smart. Most of us were taught that the more hours we put in, the more successful we'll be. But here's the reality. Hard work without strategy is like rowing a boat without a paddle. You're putting in effort, but you're not moving in the right direction. Instead of just working hard, focus on working smart. That means finding ways to multiply your efforts. Think automation, delegation, and creating systems that keep running even when you're not there. Imagine setting up a business that earns money for you while you sleep. That's the power of working smart. Example, take John, a freelance graphic designer. He used to work 12 hours a day, taking on clients one after another, struggling to keep up. Then he realized that instead of trading his time for money, he could create a course teaching others how to design. Today, he makes money from course sales while focusing on other projects. He didn't just work harder, he worked smarter. Error number two, lack of planning and goal setting. Another huge mistake is not having a plan. If you don't know where you're headed, how can you expect to get there? Successful people have a clear vision of their goals and craft step-by-step -step plans to achieve them. Set specific, measurable goals. Instead of saying, I want to be wealthy, say, I want to earn $10,000 a month in passive income by the end of the year. Break this down into smaller, actionable steps. This clarity is what will keep you moving forward. Tip write down your goals. Visualize them every day. Break your big dreams into smaller tasks and focus on accomplishing those daily steps. Planning isn't just about knowing what to do, it's about knowing how to prioritize. Error number three, wrong beliefs about money. The last mistake, holding the wrong beliefs about money. Too many of us grow up thinking money is the root of all evil or that making money is difficult and stressful. If you see money as a source of stress, you'll always struggle to attract it. Wealthy people don't see money as evil. They see it as a tool to create opportunities. Start challenging your beliefs. Whenever you catch yourself thinking negatively about money, stop and ask, is this really true? Or is this just a belief I've been conditioned to accept? Changing your mindset is the first step to changing your financial reality. Section two, how to change your beliefs about money and unlock your wealth potential. Let's dive into mindset, because, make no mistake, your beliefs shape your reality. If you see the world as a place of scarcity, you'll act out of fear, holding back and missing opportunities. But if you train yourself to see abundance, you'll act with confidence, and that's what opens doors. One strategy is to start seeing money as energy. It flows where it is valued. If you provide value, you attract money. Simple, right? but it starts with you believing that you deserve it. Example one, take the story of Sarah Blakely, who started Spanx with $5,000 and a simple idea to make women's lives easier. She didn't have the experience, but she had the belief and the determination. She saw a problem, believed she could solve it, and turned that belief into a billion dollar business. Strategy to change your mindset. Step one, identify your limiting beliefs. Write them down. Step two, Replace those beliefs with positive affirmations. For example, if you believe money is hard to make, change it to money flows to me easily and frequently. Step three, surround yourself with success stories. Read about people who started with little and built empires. It will reprogram your mind to see what's possible. Example two, 
think of Steve Harvey, who once lived out of his car. He believed in his dream to become a comedian and kept working at it despite failures. He didn't have money, but he had the mindset. Today, he's a multimillionaire, running several successful shows. Your belief shapes your actions, and your actions shape your reality. Practical tip, create a vision board. Fill it with images that represent your goals, a new home, travel destinations, a thriving business. Look at it every day. It might sound simple, but visualizing success trains your mind to expect it, and when you expect it, you work towards it. Exercise, here's an exercise for you. For the next week, write down every limiting thought you have about money. Then, write a positive version of that thought right next to it. At the end of the week, read through the positive versions and internalize them. It's a small step, but it can make a big difference. Section 3. The Real Difference Between Working Hard and Working Smart Let's clear up the difference between working hard and working smart. Working hard means putting in long hours, doing everything yourself, and feeling burned out. Working smart means finding leverage, using tools, people, and systems to multiply your efforts. For example, imagine two people. One person spends all day packaging products by hand, while another invests in a machine that does it for them. Who do you think will scale their business faster? It's obvious, right? Leverage is the secret ingredient. Leverage explained. Leverage is about using resources that expand your reach. These could be technology, partnerships, or even knowledge. Think about what you can automate or delegate in your business. Where can you use technology to do the heavy lifting? The more you can create systems that work for you, the more you'll free up your time and energy to focus on growth. Case study. Take Tim Ferriss, author of The 4-Hour Workweek. He used outsourcing to run his business while spending minimal time on it. Instead of doing everything himself, he found affordable help to manage routine tasks. This allowed him to travel, write, and create other income streams. That's working smart. Practical example. Let's say you own an online store. Instead of packing and shipping each order yourself, you can use a fulfillment service that handles everything for you. Sure, it costs money, but the time you save can be used to grow your business, develop new products, or even start a new venture. Key takeaway, leverage isn't about cutting corners, it's about maximizing your efforts. The more leverage you can create, the more successful you will be. Ask yourself, what am I currently doing that could be done more efficiently? Where can I introduce leverage? Section 4. From Zero to Millionaire. How to Build a Scalable Business with Little Money. So, how do you start a scalable business with little capital? It begins with understanding the concept of scalability, building something that can grow without needing a proportionate increase in resources. Key concept, scalability, scalability is about creating a business that can grow without having to constantly add more effort. Imagine a digital product like an ebook or online course. You create it once, and then you can sell it a thousand times without much additional work. That's the magic of scalability. Idea 1. Digital products. Digital products are incredibly scalable. They require an upfront investment of time and expertise, but once they're done, they keep selling. You don't have to be a tech genius, you just need to solve a problem. Consider creating online courses, ebooks, or software that addresses a need in your market. Example. Look at Jeff Walker, who developed the product launch formula. He created a system that teaches people how to launch products online, and it became a massive success. He started small but thought big. His approach showed that even with limited funds, you can scale up by leveraging online platforms. Step-by-step -step guide. 1. Identify a problem. Look around and see what issues people are facing. The best business ideas solve problems. 2. Create a minimum viable product, MVP, you don't need a perfect product, just something that works and solves a problem. Improve it over time. 3. Use digital platforms. Whether it's Amazon, Udemy, or your own website, there are platforms that make it easy to sell digital products without needing a huge initial investment. 4. Automate and outsource. As soon as you can, automate repetitive tasks and outsource work. This keeps you focused on growing the business instead of managing day-to-day -day tasks. Case study. Jeff Bezos didn't start Amazon as the massive marketplace it is today. It began in a garage, just selling books. But he had a vision. 
He knew that if he could make it easy for people to buy books online, he could do the same for other products. Today, Amazon is one of the most scalable businesses in the world, running on systems that ensure efficiency, practical tips, use social media, platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok allow you to reach millions of people without spending a lot of money. Use these tools to promote your products and build your brand. Collaborate with influencers. Influencers can help promote your products to a wider audience. It's a cost-effective way to market, especially when you're starting out. Conclusion and calls to action. Now, let's recap. The journey to financial freedom isn't about working yourself to the bone. It's about working smart, setting clear goals, challenging your beliefs, and building scalable systems. Remember, no matter where you are right now, you have the power to change your financial future. Your mindset is the starting point. If you can change how you think about money and success, you can change how you approach your goals. Start small, plan big, and always think about how you can make your efforts go further. So, what's your next step? Start shifting your mindset. Focus on providing value. Begin with a small, scalable idea and build from there. If Sarah Blakely and Jeff Bezos could do it, so can you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts below on what you think is the biggest barrier to financial freedom, and let's build this community together. Stay tuned, because we've got more insights coming your way on how to take control of your financial destiny 